Hey! Dance, Harper! Dance! <laughs> Are you shy? <laughs> hey, it's Friday. Uh, I've got my phone. Let me turn this down. We're, we're excited because it's Friday. And what do we have tonight, Harper? What do we have tonight? What are we doing? Come on, you know. Yeah, we've got the father-daughter dance tonight. So we're fired up. We're fired up. It's Friday. And uh, we are going to go to uh, father-daughter dance tonight. So, um, yeah. No class today. <laughs> That's right. What? No class today. No, no class today? Nah, I'm afraid you got to go to class. Hey, check it out. I've got the video turned uh, landscape. So if you're hey. watching this... Hey. On my IGTV, just rotate the phone, yeah? Huh? Um, I mean, no coaching calls. Oh, no coaching calls today. That's <laughs> right, because we have father daughter dance. So, all right. Thanks, Harper. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, so, uh, so look, um, one of the topics that I, that I cover a lot, uh, with my clients is the, the idea of self care. And so, in the, in description I wrote yes, what, okay thank you Harper in the description I wrote what do you do to feel 100 percent like dance you party. right okay I love dance okay party. appreciate it go play with sister keep her quiet um, and that's an important question because that requires a very high level of self-awareness right um, to know deeply that the activities that you engage in um, bring you life make you feel good about who you are and what you're doing right um and so one of the things that that i do as a berkman certified professional is i help individuals discover what those things are through their berkman assessment and uh through um looking at personality through nine different components of behavior as well as interests right and these interest categories which there's 10 you you basically score um you know, a, at a certain level, excuse me. Hey, girls, please, Harper, don't cover her face. Carpool coaching. Anyway, so in these interest categories, you basically score based on what are your highest levels of interest. Um, things like literary, music, art, uh, technical, outdoor, um, administrative, numbers, all these different interest categories. And engaging those activities that you're high, you score highest in are what bring you life, fuel you, give you energy. And when you have to do activities that are on the lower end of the spectrum for you, they drain you, they make you feel awful, okay? So one of the things that I am highly, um, uh, score very high in the interest category is literary, right? Uh, I have a high need for reading, writing, uh, I appreciate uh, language, um, and so I have to engage in writing. It's one of the things that I really enjoy doing uh, to make myself feel like me, right? It's, it's the thing that I do that, that really connects me to, to myself. Not only that, writing is one of those things that really brings me closer to and connects me to a higher source or to God because um, it's like uh, he's part of the process for me. Uh, which again, when you're connecting deeply internally, um, you know, that's kind of where God meets us in my opinion. So, um, the question is, what do you do to feel 100% like you? And that's something that you should be aware of because, uh, when you're able to engage in those activities frequently, you're going to have, uh, a much better time in life. It's just the way it is. For example, I have a tendency to become highly reactive. Um, I have a tendency to let anger get in the way and become highly reactive to my environment. Harper, please stop screaming. Thank you. Sorry, guys. Anyway, uh, when I become highly reactive like that, I can back backtrack it to the fact that I have not been engaging in the activities that make me feel like me. Right? <laughs> Harper, you... <laughs> Welcome to my world. Carpool coaching. The truck is full of life. That's for sure. Uh, anyway, so I want to give you the opportunity, if you're interested, to, to dive in and learn more about yourself. Learn about those activities that fuel you. 
um, you can start with simply journaling and really connecting with who you are and figuring out looking at the activities that you've done in the past like what is a time in your life when you were engaged in something that you really felt alive right you can journal that or you can go deeper and you can get a Berkman assessment for yourself so I put the link in the description you're interested take a look at it give me a shout hit me up on uh, a private message uh, I'll get with you I'll, I'll fill you in all the details but it's something that you might want to consider right so um, just think about that question what do you do that makes you feel like you all right all right well it's Friday and we've got to go to school here shortly and uh, since it's father-daughter dance tonight Harper and daddy are gonna have a little dance off in the truck you ready Harper <laughs> all right I guess she's not into the dance off so um, take care have a good Friday have a good weekend peace